Hi, come in. Well, welcome to uh, the place where we started our church in October of 1994. We met here as three families, uh, Bella and myself, Carol and Douglas, my sister and brother-in-law, Rex and Judy Hackle, and um, Dion and Shirley van der Valt. And this is where we met, shared vision, sat every Thursday night uh, for, the, for the, the rest of the year of, of 1994. And had prayer meetings every week. And towards the end of that year, Ray and Sheila Dobbin joined us, and the, uh, the, we were the five families that really started the church. This is the pool we used to do our baptismal services, and uh, obviously we only do baptismal services in, um, in summer. But yeah, I was privileged to baptize all three of my children here, and many other folk that we led to Jesus. And we used this pool for seven years until we built our building with the baptismal font. Precious moments around this pool. Hello, welcome to our first youth hall. Um, a garage that converted every Friday night into a youth hall. We had a carpet here that was to roll out and the kids used to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Just thinking this morning how that the Lord just took us one step at a time. We didn't, yeah. It wasn't that we had a definite plan of doing a church plant. But it was actually quite amazing that even when we were in East London before we came here, mm. when we sat with the map of where to go, it was like the Lord just focused our eyes onto Monte Vista. Mm. And when we got here, it, um, it was the, the place that, yeah, when we saw it, we just knew yeah, this is where we were going to be, hey. Yeah. Hey guys, we're on our way to Joe Simon Preschool and it's one of the early places that we met as Linkway Church. So we haven't been there for about 20 years. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're at the entrance of Joe Simon Preschool and uh, we had our first service on the 5th of March in 995 uh, inside this venue. So we're approaching the entrance now and we're gonna go inside and check out everything, which uh, you guys are gonna be so interested to see. Um, yeah, so this is the venue where we had about 20 to 30 people worshipping together on a Sunday morning. Um, and I remember like the earliest memory that I have <laughs> was when we came here on a Sunday morning and this place was full of DJ equipment that they had a party the night before. Um, so we frantically had to get this place ready, swept, cleaned. And while we had service, we actually had the DJ's turntables to the side. Um, of the venue which was so interesting but also cool to see everybody just throwing help and just making sure that the venue got ready for our service and so that was what for me like the earliest memory I have. So in July of 1995 we were constituted as a fellowship with the Western Province Baptist Association and we were named Tigerberg Baptist Fellowship. Yeah, so we quickly outgrew this place and a year later in July 1996 we were constituted as a church uh, with the Baptist Union of South Africa and we were called Monte Vista Baptist Church and we couldn't even have it in this venue because this venue was way too small to house all the people that we had coming to that service and we had 58 people coming to membership that day. Hey girls. <laughs> That's the way it goes. <laughs> So we quickly outgrew Joe Simon Preschool and we had a conversation with uh, Dr. Fent who was the principal at H. Mead High at the time and he allowed us to come into their library um, and actually have our services there. That's where all the preaching happened. In the front there, we had the chairs all around here, moving to the back. And there was a little extra venue further back but they've closed that off now and made it a totally separate venue and the library is on the other side of that wall. This used to be the library. Check it out. This is vastly different to what we had before. And they've got a full-on library now, which is very interesting. So within a year, we outgrew the library and we moved into the Hayward Center. And in this venue, this is where we had our services, which is now called the Candlelit Theater. So we, we literally had the stage over here and we had a drop screen over there in the corner which we actually you know, projected our lyrics with an overhead projector and those kind of things, old school stuff. 
And then in the corner over there on the side, we used to have the worship team, uh, which we used to set up, as I said before, we used to set up every Saturday afternoon, practice our hearts out because we were terrible um, and we needed to get the songs down. <laughs> That's crazy. Who's the handsome guy over there? The bean pole. It's a year where we started praying for property and God provided that property for us, which we found on Linkway, where we are currently today. I used to meet in the lounge and it was, it was very small and it was, it, it was intimate, but it was something that, that grew and, 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 and we looked forward to, 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 Sunday, to Sunday service um, in, in, in those days. And then we moved to the preschool. Um, Joe Simon. Joe Simon. And believe it or not, I sang in front because there was nobody else to do it. <laughs> With Val playing the keyboard and then rushing off after that while Gavin preached to teach Sunday school at the house and then rushing back to, for the closing um, chorus um, and we jumped up to the front. So it was a case of everybody just jumped in and did whatever you did, whether you had the talent or the gifting or not, we just did it. Well, I can't think of anything specific, but you know, you're not t filming now, are you? <laughs> you can just talk, I like getting the natural stuff in between. Um, I was just saying, I can't think of anything specific, but one was aware at the time that the Lord was working in this group and that we were going somewhere. I don't think it would ever occur to me that the church wouldn't take off. Yeah, I don't know why. just kind of had that kind of childlike faith, I guess. Yeah. Just constantly just always believing that God's going to provide. Um, never, whatever challenge came ahead of us, we never ever thought that it wouldn't be possible. Um, yeah, and I guess you're young and I mean very involved in youth, so, you know, it just grew and grew and grew. I don't um, know, like, we had a lot of fun as youth. Yeah. The youth was, yeah. I think yeah. it's just seeing the constant growth all the time as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they just built faith into into everything as well. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Uh, we started a, a, a prayer meeting in, in in this other lady's house, and and we we used to have great times of, of prayer and uh, and and new people coming to the church because more and more and more people would go past and and hear the singing and then uh, find out that it was a, 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 a Christian church and they would, they would come the following week and say, can we come too? And they, we, we said yes. And a lot of those people were lead, kept, became leaders in the church. Sure. One day there was just this yes. change, not change, but it just blended into a fact that, yes. hey, we're clapping hands. Yeah. Hey, we're speaking in tongues. We're raising our hands. There's, there's uh, interpretation of the tongues. Yes. Then the gifts started coming yes. up and wow, that, that, was, that, was, that yes. was new to me coming from a, a Baptist background that was solid, you know what I mean? But it did, it did happen and uh, I tell you, it just grew from there and that was an amazing thing. I'm so thrilled about that. <laughs> when we arrived in Cape Town about 17 years ago, we were looking for a church and saw a, a little advertisement about Linkway. Went to see what it was about and uh, have been there ever since. The first, rem first memories I have um, was when I walked into the hall at Edgemead I saw a, a wheel, a wheel that indicated a mount on it and it had to do with our building plan. Soon afterwards uh, we had made a decision to start building and it was a step in faith and uh, the building commenced. It was an amazing time where I remember Gavin and Val sharing uh, verses that God had laid on their heart and as other people had shared with them and I remember we still made little flags, staked them in the ground and went and prayed as pockets of prayer groups around these flags and then joined together as a, as, as a prayer group after that. After the property on Linkway was secured in the late 1990s, building plans were drawn up and approved. Val van Heerden was called to be the pastoral assistant in October 2000 
to keep up with the demands of a growing congregation and so that some of the administrative burden could be taken off of Pastor Gavin van Heerden. After a time of prayer on the 10th of February 2002, construction began on the first phase of the building. After nine months of building, an inaugural worship service was held on Sunday the 26th of October 2002, where for the first time we opened our doors as Linkway Baptist Church. Brett Bevan, who had spent many years in the church as a youth, was called as Linkway's first full-time youth pastor in January 2004. And in March 2008, Pastor Allen was called as worship pastor, releasing a full-length worship album titled Rain and Me later that same year. Phase 2 of building began in March 2009 as a planned extension in anticipation of further growth. This building phase included new youth and children's facilities, an administrative block of offices, extra toilets and an enclosed foyer with a cafe. Building was completed in November 2009 and the Link Cafe became fully operational in February of 2010. In June 2010, Brett Bevan felt the call of the Holy Spirit to move into a different ministry context and Andre de Jaga took over as youth pastor a few short months later. Jesus had transformed many lives throughout this time and the church now stands ready for the next season of challenge and growth.